Hello there and welcome back to the lair today. I have six more strategy games for you to look forward to this time. The focus is more on building but there's something for everyone here. Each of those games has something unique to offer. Let's get right into it and check the six upcoming city building strategies. Just really quick if you are subscribed thank you for that and if you're not please do subscribe. First game is the Citadelum City Builder. Set in legendary ancient Rome, build your own settlement, gather resources and evolve it into a magnificent city. Which is what the demo conveys really, really nicely. I did play the demo, all of the footage you are seeing on your screen now is from it. Try it out for yourself. You will see if you like the game. I think you will if you like city builders and the theme is very good. Ancient Rome is a classic, I think. The only thing about the demo I maybe didn't like is the amount of fires, as you can see on screen right now, there's a lot of fires going on, but the devs said they will fix that, otherwise you have buildings, you have armies, you have tradings with other city exploring, as you can see here now, and this game actually will offer a lot of hours, even in the demo state. One heads up, you cannot save in the demo, so if you step uh, from your screen be sure to leave the game running so you can do the second missions but overall i did enjoy the gameplay a lot and this is shaping up to be a good ancient rome city builder next up we have end zone 2 a sequel to quite a popular game end zone 1 of course End Zone 2 is a post-apocalyptic survival colony builder where you embark to secure humanity's survival after a cataclysmic disaster. Now, what this reminds me of is Fallout, but a city builder. You, of course, will have to gather resources, you'll have to delegate jobs, you'll have to keep an eye on your productivity and your settler's mood, and uh, this will impact your settlement. Now, there's another thing here that I think sets this game from the others and that is looting buildings and exploring ruins. You will have a Pathfinder vehicle which you can uh, drive around and then you can explore the Badlands with it and if you find any ruins you can send people in. Now as far as I'm aware is there is dangers so there will be risk and reward. Now, the first game had a little bit of a problem in Endgame when everything kind of came down to you producing clothing for your people and I think they will fix that in this game. It is shaping up to be a really, really good city builder with a little bit of a post-apocalyptic twist. So if you like it, you can already wishlist it on Steam. Planned release date is August 26, 2024 and I do hope that this game delivers on our expectations. As of now, from what we have been able to see, it seems that it will. But do check out the review when it comes out, it will be right here on my channel. Memoria Polis invites you to construct a city that spans 2500 years of history, from antiquity to the age of enlightenment. Choose your culture, manage resources, face historical events, build wonders to achieve the status of capital of capitals and leave your mark on history. No warfare doesn't mean no features, there's a lot of emphasis on wonders and culture, you will still need to take care of your people, ensure progress so you can lead them to glory and truly build the capital of capitals. You will be able to expand your influence, forge political alliances and open trade routes in order to achieve your goal. While there is no warfare, you will have to watch out because the power comes from the people. You will have to navigate the senate, manage different factions to prevent riots and tread carefully to prevent famine and epidemics. But with challenges, there will also come opportunity. Will you choose to preserve or to destroy? Wishlist on Steam if you like this kind of game. Earth of Orin is an indie city builder strategy game set in medieval world filled with story and heart. Starting from nothing, shape your kingdom according to your vision while managing the needs and wants of your people. Now the first thing that you can see with this game is the striking visuals. I really really love the graphic design of this one. 
it kind of stands out from almost everything on this list. Now there will be three modes, this is already confirmed, there will be a campaign which is a big story with its own lore and multiple submissions, there is single missions, so a single mission with an original story or not is what the developer said, or creative mode which is a sandbox mode, so there's something for everyone. This one does include warfare, so you can go that route. Uh, this game seems to be emphasizing that you can decide how your city grows. That's either through warfare or through just growing your city on your own. Frostpunk 2. What is it there to say about Frostpunk? Well, Frostpunk is critically acclaimed game and everyone in the world seems to like the first game so the second one has a lot to do it has big shoes to fill now what do you do in frostpunk 2 you develop expand and advance your city in a society survival game set 30 years after an apocalyptic blizzard ravaged earth in frostpunk 2 you face not only the perils of never-ending winter but also struggle with managing factions inside the council hall that watch your every step. Now, as I said, this is a sequel to a popular game and it promises to be bigger, promises more exploration and the new feature here is that the politics will be extremely, extremely important. And you will, of course, be able to choose what your politics are, but your vote can fail, which will result in the city rising up against you so you will have to balance the exploration with city growth and the needs of your people to be the best leader that you can be the release date was a little bit delayed which only shows that the developers want to bring the best possible product to us but it's coming out very very soon you can wish list it on steam and remember the city must not fall coming soon and the last game on the list is Whiskerwood. Now, why did I put this one on the list? Because it's from Hooded Horse, the publisher who keeps on bringing us the best games possible. Norland, Manor Lords, Cataclysmo are all published by Hooded Horse. Now, what is this game? Well, it's a city builder and you play as a race of mice which are being oppressed by their feline overlords so you do work for them now the visuals might be cute but the story is actually very very dark basically you are a slave to the cats and you have to do their bidding as you can see the visuals are really really nice what i do hope is that later in the game we can overthrow our feline overlords and show the cats who really is the boss in this game you have to watch for natural disasters you have to watch the needs of your people because even though you are slaves they will still leave the colonies if you will not manage them properly meaning you will lose the workforce and uh, the cats will probably eat you i don't think you want to be eaten by cats so manage your people properly and you can wishlist this game already on Steam. Release date is not known yet, but I do trust Hooded Horse as a publisher, so I would recommend this game if you like city builders. That's it. That was the six new strategy games that we can all look forward to. If you like the video, there's much, much more coming. Subscribe, comment below on what you think. Maybe recommend an upcoming game or a game that is already released. Until next time, Goblin out. Bye.